It's the PBA All-Star Skills Showdown on FS1. Because we have a unique format here. It's a team competition among manufacturers. Team Brunswick, Bill O'Neill in charge of that bunch. Kyle Troop, your U.S. Open champion. And, of course, O'Neill, a major winner. And on Team Motive, E.J. Tackett. Oh, look, he made another TV show. Thanks, Dave. So you guys are part of the strike contest. So I got to ask you, Packy, this should be pretty easy for you, right? Because that's all you guys do is strike all day. Uh, I don't know about easy. I'm just hoping to get more than one. Well, Kyle, he's hoping to get more than one. So I'm going to put you on the spot. How many are you going to get? I think a nice juicy ham bone will be good. So we're going to go with four strikes, Kimberly. EJ, I might as well just go ahead and ask you the same thing. Are you ready to beat these two? Outstrike them? I mean, I always show up and I try to be ready every single time. So we're going to see what's going to happen. All right, good luck to you guys. Strikes. Uh, who do you like in this contest? Well, I'll tell you what, you got to pick the person that is striking the most here recently. I got to I gotta pick the troop. Plus, look at that hair. You know, I started for 30 <laughs> years with Voss, and now we got troop. Gotta love that. <laughs> yeah, Norm, you and I never had hair like that ever. No. Thanks, Norm. Oh, no. <laughs> ever. And that's not counting PBA 50, that's not counting the multiple oh, regional titles. I mean, the late, great Mark Roth, the late Earl Anthony. You'd have to squeeze them in. Oh, yeah. And then, and then your, your, your dais is complete, I think. Five frames, and Becky Hanrahan gets a trip 10 for the two-handed lefty. Now, the way the points That's break one. down here, by the way. And that is absolutely why we should not have been doing that. because that 25 when your team wins a particular competition. 20 for second, and then 10 for third. So... We're going to be adding those points up as the evening goes on. Remember, no spares in this contest. Speaking of bowling great this year, how about yeah. this guy? Are we allowed to have TV without EJ attacking it? No, we're not. Uh-oh. Second time around for Packy. Yuck. I watched him in practice, hey. and Dave, he threw a lot of strikes in practice. And, uh, you know, going in, I thought maybe he'd be the favorite because he's the only southpaw. Almost a 7-10, but it's not a strike. And all we care about in this competition is strikes. Uh-oh. That's a little light. Yeah. Messenger's not going to get there. So it opens the door for EJ Tackett to make it a three-way tie. You were right. That's a tight lane. Crack itself. We're tied. That beautiful arm swing that goes out and then back in, tucks underneath him. And then the incredible power of a man of that size. Yeah, it's staggering he, what he can do. Tremendous athlete. All right, third frame. Well, Check the strike. Later. Later. That's not now. Well, did, you, did you bring a ball that would, I would say, Hunks? how do I categorize this? Hooks more than that one. I brought a couple. Um, <laughs> there will be. <laughs> Gotta go. Whoa. What is going on? EJ Tackett could take the lead. Right, everybody's got six at least yeah, once. Again, Someone explain the format that? again. <laughs> Somebody explain the <laughs> format again. Yeah, that was a good one. I don't think we, we have to do a whole lot for uh, these shows. I think the players got to handle it. DJ Tackett and Motor take the lead. See his yeah. teammates, I'm Tom like, Smallwood. I'm missing a head spin again. Field <laughs> and Sam Cooley. Tom will be in the spare competition. Sam will be the trick shot artist. So only two frames going to be bold before we knock somebody to the curb here. Oh, that looks solid, Randy. When it comes to trash talking, Tommy Jones is a varsity. <laughs> there you go. That's perfect from Kyle. That puts Becky in an uncomfortable position right now. Hey, 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 hey. 
Reigning player of the year, EJ Tackett. Got a hook. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. How about the helicopter action on the seven? Well, he's through. He's already oh, into the next round. Yep. And this is absolute must strike for Packy to have a chance. Otherwise, he will be eliminated, and Brunswick will be third to pick up 10 points in the team competition. And he's going to be in third place, so we know now that Kyle Troop and EJ Tackett have advanced to the next round. The next five frames will feature those two superstars. Oh, the Randy Jinx just did in Packy. You still got it, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, Packy. I meant what I said. That's okay, Kyle. He is through. Tackett and Troop have made it through to the next round. EJ is going to get one more just for fun in this five frame match. The guy that started off with the bucket. Yeah. Leads the fifth frame. And he'll be number one against Drew. Oh, five more. Wow. Hey, I really, I really got ten on the two shots I didn't strike. <laughs> no pressure on that shot for EJ Tack. Well, we all remember it. It is arguably the biggest strike in the sports history. U.S. Open Championship, a record for PDW, his fifth U.S. Open title. Who can ever forget that? Hey, Pete, we just watched probably one of the most infamous strikes in the history of the PBA Tour, and you threw it for, to win your fifth U.S. Open. What was it like? What did you feel after all 10 went down with that shot? Uh, you know, Randy, it, it was like I asked for a re-rack right before the shot. And right after that, it, it probably the calmest I've ever been throwing a shot. You know, for a U.S. Open title, being very calm, that was so cool to throw the strike and win. And, you know, hats off to Mike Fagan, too. Thanks, Pete. I know we all enjoyed that. You could say that. I mean, you my goodness, what a telecast that was. Take a look at our 43-foot LBC oil pattern. Players are going to be in, feeding it to the track to the right and left on both sides of the lane. Follow the transition. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of that, but EJ Tackett seems to be fairly well dialed in, even though his last shot got five, but we're down to two. EJ Tackett and Kyle Troop. Ten points for Brunswick, 25 for the winner of this, and 20 for second place. Competition between the manufacturers, making this a total extra spice. Through the nose for Tackett. Quick reminder, we're not going to see any spare shooting. Not in this competition. No. That's the next yeah. one. Points, son. Get them points. Made sure I didn't get six. I think Kyle Troop's going to make a ball change here and look for a little different shape. Oh, perfect. Yeah, he's going to more hook. Other than a warm up, too, so these are these are still fairly fresh to the players as well. Yep. But I don't think Kyle liked his reaction with the other ball, obviously, so he goes to something stronger and moves in. He's going to shape it. Perfect shape for nine. Oh! Tack at the tie. And. <laughs> He needed two messengers, which would have been really wild to watch that. Ah. I should have that one good, though. That looks pretty good. Now you saw that time the ball kicking out the nine. Yeah, it actually took the nine out. That was a little, a little better. So Kyle to take the lead here. Of course, it wasn't that long ago that Kyle picked up the U.S. Open Championship. Gotta go. Oh, no problem at all. Yeah, now he 
you could shut out EJ with one more. Hey, good ball change. It sounds like somebody tipped him off. So if he strikes here, he has a chance to shut EJ out with one more after it. EJ is maxed out at three. Troop can max out with four. Yeah, he's going to put Tackett in a position where he must strike to keep this going. Otherwise, Storm will take the first 25 points. Love from the legends. Oh, yeah, man. Just barely kicked the 10 out, but EJ has to, to have a chance. I think he's next. been in the position before. Yeah, right. yeah, right. a lot. Long, <laughs> should, I, should I ice you and get a re rack? Or? You get two a game. Oh, I get two a game still? Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. A re rack. <laughs> yeah, that's all I need. That's fair. Well, it's very simple. If he doesn't strike, it's a victory for Team Storm. Yeah. If he does, off we go to settle the champion in this event. All right. Well, he did what he could. Now it's up to Troop. Troop's last shot if he strikes. Victory for Storm. Let's go. Good shot, Ian. You got him. Well, Kai, you called it at the top of the show. You were going to get a ham bone, and look at that right there. Yeah, I mean, uh, Darren said it looks like somebody just took a little bite out of the ham bone since they weren't four in a row. But, uh, you know, I knew EJ was going to make it tough there. Feels good to uh, get the strike for the team. Get us a good start in this cup. Yep, congratulations. Ms. Storm is now ahead, heading into the next competition. All right, let's go, boys. Spares will, but his work's not done yet. That's 11. And there you have it, right there. 11 in a row. Albi for perfection. Albi for 10,000 extra bucks in the bank account as well. You notice he walked away. He started to walk that shot out. A very confident man he was. Mike, we just uh, got a great look at that memorable 300 game against David Ozio. What do you remember most about that afternoon? Well, it was just uh, you know a wonderful day. Obviously, it's something you could dream about. But uh, you know, David Ozio obviously pushed all the way to the end, and you know to get that first one. Actually, 11th and 12th were pretty easy compared to that 10th one. But uh, yeah, just a fun day, and some, just love to watch it every time. Yeah, it's spectacular. Congratulations on a great career, Mike, and thanks so much for being here with us. Uh, it's awesome to be here, Randy. Thank you. And to be with these four guys and, and the current pros, it's just it's a wonderful time for me. Thank you. Yeah, what a great thrill having Mike here as well as those other Hall of Famers. So Storm picked up 25, Motive 20, and Brunswick 10. That's pretty good. But now there's going to be incredible point values for the spares we're going to see. So we're taking strikes right out of the equation. Kimberly Pressler is standing by with our spare experts. That's right, David. So everything right now is all about spares. So, Darren, i got to ask you, how's your spare game right now? Good. <laughs> Does it need to be great for this next part? We'll see. <laughs> All right, Tom, i got to ask you, um, let's be honest, did you practice your spares before coming into today? No. I mean, for the last, like, six weeks, yeah. But uh, apparently they didn't go very good. So I, I'm here out of process elimination. No one strikes more than EJ, so he had to do the strike thing. I have zero trick shots. I barely make spares. But yes, that's why I'm here. <laughs> well, by process of elimination, does that mean, Bill, you're going to be the winner here? I mean, it seems that way. I mean, I, We've definitely established this year on tour that multi-pin spare conversion is my thing. So uh, we should be all right today. All right. Good luck to you all. <laughs> yes. A U.S. Open reference, if ever there was one. So the bucket gets you 25 points. Also getting 25 points, the old picket fence, the 1-2-4-7. Not an easy one to shoot. 
Then for 50 points, the baby split a 4-5, a washout, a 1-2-4-10 for 50. And then for 100, something you don't see pros shoot at that often. No. The 5-7. And should we be tied, the 0-4-9 split will be the roll-off. Five of those guys that are over there. Incredible spare shooter. So we'll see if Darren Tang is indeed right. He gets straight out. Oh, yeah. Out of the Duke playbook. There you go. Oh, this guy is trying to play mind games. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. I wonder if Norm gave him some coaching earlier. Wouldn't be surprised. Because I'm kind of with you. I always think of that as when you have to hit a pocket. Yeah, I mean, especially when the old pattern's a little bit softer, you can go ahead and hook into it like that. All right. Is that possible to throw Brooklyn on the bucket? Yeah, well, <laughs> a little nervous. I'll go with that. But he went. He crossed over so far that he was able to get the A pin out. Watch the four pin. Four pin clips the eight and covers it. You only get one crack at this, by the way. <laughs> and, and that's that's more of the traditional yeah. way to make it. Listen, that so wasn't we great, but it was three bowlers, three different looks. Three, three bowlers, three different ways. Two tried to hook it. Darren Tank threw it straight. Huh? Yeah. And we'll move on to our next combination. It's the picket fence. No, sir. No 25 for Tang and for Team Storm. Well, we saw Tom hook. Can't imagine that's going to happen again here. That looks good. That's how you do it. All four with the ball. Textbook. Textbook for Smallwood. 25 for your motive. I'm shooting all spares at top. Oh, God. Uh oh. Make it lucky. Yeah, that, that, was, that was the second option. Yeah, and that's not the one, and I, I don't think Bill tried to go with that. But it works out for him. All right, all right. It's like, uh oh, it's not going to hook enough. I was aiming the other okay. side, but I wasn't. I wasn't. Hey, both sides first. You'll, ne you'll never know what I was aiming for. Just, you'll just know, too. So we're good. So here's the 4 5. Bring it home, Sam. 43%, Randy. Yeah, we get those numbers from our. Great friends at Lane Talk. For more information, go to lanetalk.com or download their free app. Amateurs, according to PBA LBC League stats, with a combined 176 average in 4,000 games, make this one just 23% of the time. That's a chance. Nicely done. Left. Yep. Yeah. Ready for the senior tour. Uh, they, they might call this the baby split, the 4-5. I, I never called it that because it was way harder than the 3-10. Yeah, pros generally do very well with a 3-10 or 2-7. The real deal. Perfect. Oh, nicely right done. Right, right down the middle. Come on now. Come on now. Okay. Four times, Randy, the 7 10 has been made on TV, but... Only once in history. Yeah. One time in history, Big Four. Incredible. It well, really the man is. himself is standing by to talk to you. And the great Walter Ray joining us, the winningest player in the history of the sport. And Walter Ray, we just got done talking about, you know, the 710's been made four times on television. But the Big Four only once by you. What was that afternoon like? Um, well, that was a, it was a fun afternoon, except for... I got beat by 20 pins, so that wasn't so fun. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, that was an awesome spare. Like, I lost by 20 pins. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why he has won more than anybody else. Well, because... I'll tell you what, what but what a career. And, well, and the, long, the longevity of his career yeah, not... and what he's done to the sport for so many years. And, and he's, he's still winning. He's still winning. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So we have two to, to go. <laughs> Wash out. This is not fun to look at. Yeah, typically you want to try to make this by cutting the head pin over into the go. 10. Anything else would be futile. I'll keep you on your toes. Anything else would be uncivilized. That too. All right. So Darren Tang, 75 points so far. The winning team will pick up 25. Oh, my. Wow. 
I He's good at that straight ball. <laughs> there was no I messing around with that. He yeah. makes the bucket, throwing it straight. And he throws it straight at the washout, makes that. Curves it into the 4-5, makes that. Look out. No. no. Smalls tried to hook it into that. We got loose. I got loose too harder. Is anyone going to pull a Simonson and throw a backup ball into it? I don't think so. What would Norm do? <laughs> he would throw a backup ball. I can't do that. Good call, Dave. Good call. Norm, that's what Norm would do. Now, is Billy going to shoot it from the right or from the left? Tommy told me to hook it. He's going from the right side of the lane. We're pretty much straight, straight on it. Oh, yeah. no. Missed it. Wow. Yeah. That is a big W for Storm right there. That's 50 points that Brunswick and Motive don't get. I mean, I, I think the more angle you use to shoot that, the bigger your margin for error is. Team Storm right here. Pros only make this 23% of the time. Amateurs, 11. Curving it. Ah, that's pretty good. Left the door open. Ah, good. Wide open. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I like the attempt, though. I think it's better to move in and try to hook it at this. Now, Smallwood at 50 points would go past Tang if he makes it. Yep. So it's going to be third place for Motive here. They'll pick up 10 points. They'll have 30 total. Right now, Bill O'Neill can give Brunswick 25 points in their pocket if he converts this. Be careful on this right lane. You get it too far to the right, it's not going to hook. Excuse me, left lane. Oh, no! I thought he had it. He got too much of the five pin. Nobody oh, converts it. Wow. So Storm ends wanna, up winning it. The get spare to competition, 125 to 100 over Brunswick with motive third That's with 50. So Storm... 50 points for the team so far. This is who's the greatest. That I'm not sure you can have through. a debate about who's the greatest bowling right. trick shot. Yeah. Unless it's Andy Verapapa, of course, going way back. But in the modern times, here's your maestro right there. Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of really good trick shot artists. Parker Bone, the third was a good one. But I'm not sure there was one better than this guy. Curve. Yeah. That one's pretty good. Because, wait for it. Yeah. you got to have a lot of imagination, a lot of confidence, and a lot of talent. Yeah, Norm, you know, when most of, most of us were practicing trying to strike, <laughs> you somehow found some time to do these trick shots, and you were probably the best at it. Do you have a favorite? I mean, do you have one that uh, when you go and do your exhibitions around the world, you just pull it out and you go, hey, watch this? Yeah, my favorite is definitely the towel shot. Even though it's not the hardest that I've, I've selected, that one there that you just saw was really hard. But the towel shot's kind of like a signature move of mine, and fans enjoy it, so I keep giving it to them. Thank you, Norm. Will anybody dare try that tonight in front of Norm? Let's find out what the rules are here first, because you see that rather intimidating group with 38 major championships among them. You got five minutes to perform one or more trick shots. You see the judges, they're gonna be holding up rating cards and the highest cumulative score will win. The tie for first will be broken by a one trick roll off. 188 PBA titles judging you. Yeah, hey, just so you know, Mike Albee held up 10 after he saw Norm Duke's trick shot as well he should yeah With randy peterson dave lamont you just saw kimberly pressler and we have sam cooley repping motive here the chair trick looks like is that going to be first now the clock is already running we're 30 seconds into this as you can see there's the clock five minutes and you can do as many trick shots as you want this is going to be a worry Even that, I think, is pretty impressive. That's not bad for well, the I watched Osku Palerma do that strike. And this is going back a few yeah, years. And, I mean, we were all like jaw drop watching Osku throw it 20 feet in the air, halfway down the lane. And try one more. 
You got it. I'm, get, I'm getting worse as I go. <laughs> I think that's. Yeah, I'll definitely hit the chair then. I think I'm going to have to retire that one. That's not very good. Yeah, watch put somebody in the chair. Two balls to the 7 10. No. Do you remember when you and I did that? That's still not bad for my first I do. Somebody made a pretty funny video about yep. that, too. <laughs> you threw the first shot, and then you. I need your help. You gave me the little arch so I could throw it between that's, your legs, and right. we covered it. And then acted like a couple of eight year olds when we finished. <laughs> I think a judge is giving him a hard time here, Randy. Come on, this one. Two balls. And hopefully, now he's going to have the channel, unfortunately. Then what we're doing right now. <laughs> that needs a hook. Oh, it did? Look at that. That was pretty good. I did get a second, another chance. You got a minute left. They want to see it with one ball. One ball? I put it. Sorry. All right, two balls, and if they're going to both be on the gutter, so. Make it one, one ball. Oh, well now. Oh, I better. I thought you were going to make it down there in time. Hey, Norm, is he trying to steal your thunder here with a two ball yeah, shot? Oh, he done. Come back. <laughs> he got no, uh, <laughs> no thunder there, Randy. I'm sorry. He about 10 years, so. <laughs> All right, T with a six. Ready? Ten. <laughs> Seven is 13. Are you still All right, right, guys, what do, what do you think? Give us some numbers. Walter Ray with seven. Parker, seven. Mike Alby, six. Norm, seven. And Pete Weber, six. Mike, why only six? Oh, it was a good effort. Good effort. Uh, you know, if I threw a ball that good, I might try it for my first ball on tour, but <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> Uh, six for a good effort. He made some good tries, I'll say. All right. Thanks, Mike. All right, partner. We talked quite a bit about Norm Duke's trick shot ability, but this sneaky lefty from New Jersey isn't bad either. What is this? I don't know. That, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> That's the mustachio, Parker. Oh, my God. Look at his kids then, and now look at them. Kicking people's fannies and bowling is what they're doing. <laughs> that is unbelievable imagination and, of course, execution. Parker, how did you come up with that sh trick shot that we just saw there? <laughs> it was based on something that I've seen over in Japan. I watched uh, some guys do it shooting a five pin, and I said it would be a lot cooler on the lane if you add a couple more balls and then add some baby splits at the other end, and it really turned over to be fantastic. Oh, so you basically stole it from some guy in Japan. Well, he was only shooting a five pin with it. I decided to add more <laughs> elements. All right, how, how long did it take you to get really good at making that? That particular shot? Yeah, Actually, yeah. not that long. The really? hardest part of it is lining up the front three balls. Because if the front three balls, if the last ball in line is just a little bit off, you'll miss everything at the other end. There you have it. Thank you, Parker. Appreciate that. G50 Tour. Yeah. He, 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 listen, he did it in 2023. Huh? He cashed yep. again. Unbelievable. Two, one. He has cashed in six different decades. What is this? A pool cue. You know, I saw the pool cue used in practice, and nobody was able to strike with it. So I'm a little surprised. But Tommy waiting on the ball return. That's eating into his time. Although he's only used 30 seconds so far. In my bag. That's got a chance. Yep. Oh, that was close. All right, one more time. And Bill O'Neill hustling one over. One more time, we win. A different ball to save some time. That's a smart move. Hey, judges, am I ahead of the last guy? <laughs> oh, hey.
great. <laughs> oh, let's try this instead. two were pretty close so he nailed it on the third one which he did on that cool shot well this one's an all-time classic <laughs> seen chris barnes make Thanks. this a few times the flying eagle the flying eagle is a, is really difficult <laughs> yeah and i've seen some equipment severely damaged by trying to shoot this well the deck pin lights broken flash shattered all over the the pin deck we've got a pov camera down lane that could go too Principle there is to take that pin that's sticking out and fly it off to the right to take out the 10 pin on the right lane. It's extraordinarily difficult. Cut that front pin into the 10 into cross the 10. lane, and then the ball deflects off into the 7. Tommy's made two so far. Sam Cooley was only able to make one when he scored 33 points for Motive. Maybe. He is right in between where he needs to be. There's Packy Hanrahan setting up that front pin. Oh, that was close. I put the feather on that one. Yeah, that's the camera the too. Hose. Are you ready to write the check for the new camera if we need it? No. and went around the seven pin. Can you believe that? You're making bars look good. The ball's not supposed to go in front of the seven. What do you mean to do, Bill? No, I know. I don't think Watch this. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I don't think I can roll it out right now. <laughs> One more try. Wow. All but making yeah, it. That was about as close as you could get. The last two shots were Tommy Jones. And let's go to the judges. I mean, he's the best. But, I mean, the two best guys here are Norm and Parker, so I'm going with whatever they got. Oh, Norm, stop it. There, that's oh. better. That's better. You don't have a nine in there? Right. Oh, I got nines. I got a seven, too. All right, we'll settle out of court for eight. Seven, Pete? <laughs> All right, that adds up, though, to 39. That beats Sam Cooley by six. Warm-ups make the two-ball trick with the big four. Walter Ray can do it with one ball. I knew you were going to say that. Well, one for one. Hey, Walter Ray. Uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. He made it with two balls, but you made it with one. How impressed are you with this opening shot? Well, he did it one for one. That's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Well, that's a pretty good start for Sean. I think that's got to take a little heat off of whatever this is going to be. One more time. He's not going to double dip on this one. Now, yeah, but okay. We're going to try this one more time. Oh, we're going this way now. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Maybe not. Kick it. Yeah, you can help it. Well, now there's a trick. Yeah, that's not going to help it. Hit a little too hard. Yeah, that's not going to help it. One one. Yeah, one more. One more on each side. Now. Right here? Yeah. That's it? He's, can he fit the ball under that chair, you think? If he I don't know. It? That's going to be tough. He may have to go over. Sam Cooley tried this unsuccessfully. <laughs> yeah, but Cooley had the chair way farther down the lane. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, between the legs. And over. Wide left. And the whiff. Yeah, I'm going to move out the way. Yeah, yeah. All right, now he's on the lane with the chair. What's the plan? I guess he's got to go over. Oh, hey, I like that.
like that, Sean. Without it in the car. No car. In between the legs. No. Yeah. Ball. No. This is not impressing anybody on the panel. Well, he got off to a fabulous start. He hit his first one. Yeah, but the two ball trick on the big four, but he has not hit since. Under two and a half minutes. This is the guy that Norm thought might do it. Oh my goodness, Norm! Norm, what is going on? Norm, what is going on out there? See his carnage, Randy. Oh, just carnage everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pure carnage. Another gutter ball. Take two minutes. Take two minutes. Instant carnage. Here we go. Start out strong. All right, let's try this again. Maybe. At what point, we're here at Phoenix Raceway, right? Yeah. At what point does the caution flag come out? Oh, my. I'm not saying that. So you got to be cautious with that. So look at that. Uh oh It's getting better. Uh-oh. Back to back. Over. Mike Albee, we got off to a great start here with Sean. Then things quieted down pretty quick. And he's they're picking it. back up. What do you think? He's, it's, oh boy, he's uh, building quickly. Building quickly. There's a lot of excitement down here. I think one more. If he can pull one more trick, I think he's I think one there. One more. One more. I think. More shots, more points. Gonna go over again. About a minute left. Cross. Oh, uh, no drive. Almost. No five. Dude, this feels like it's taking forever. It's getting tired. Oh, Move the chair. Hi, son. That's not good. I, gotta yeah, get over I, would, I would lose that one out of my repertoire. <laughs> yeah, it's not working. He's got a much better shot going either in the middle or over the chair. But I think he's made more trick shots than anyone today. And there's another good one. Tap 10. I mean, I think you got to give it to Sean. He's got 30 seconds. I think at this point, 39 is the number he has to beat. Take the chair off. He's not giving up on that trick. I don't know. I mean, He's going to keep asking that one to dance. My good leg. No. Yeah, he's having about as much success as I did in high school asking people to dance. He's no quitter. There we go. Way at the buzzer. A strong wrist buzzer beater. We'll see. Everybody together. He made more than anybody else. Who shot way more than everybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What would you get? What would you get? You know, they, they, yeah, there were some pretty good on. shots in there, but a lot he of misses. A lot. a lot of misses. But he had, he he had the most makes and the most misses. Judges, what do you What's think? I, I'm not. Walter Ray with eight. Okay. Parker Bone, eight. Eight, eight, eight. Seven for Pete. Norm. Seven for Pete. Eight for Mike. It's a eight tie. Eight for Norm. It's a tie. One trick roll off between the two players. All right, well, Sean has gone two hands the big four. He's gone through a chair, over a chair, between the legs. I'm not sure what more he could have done, Kimberly. And frankly, I think the judges made a short changed him. It's a Brunswick tie break. It's going to be a very simple tie break. Both Sean and Tommy, Team Storm and Team Brunswick, will be shooting at the Flying Eagle. They get one crack at it. If they do not execute the crack, and we are still tied, or if they both make it, but we're still tied, then they are going to take each of them. We're going to take a bowling pin and chuck it at a full rack. And whoever knocks down the most will capture the 25 points for their team. Sean going first. He's right. <laughs> wow. Well, so Randy, in 25 years of announcing on the PBA, have you ever said, well, all he has to do to tie is make the Flying Eagle? Yeah, no. I, and I wasn't going to pick him to win this because Tommy had a few shots at it. And then Sean steps up there and makes it like it was nothing. Throwing one shot in a little while, Norm. Is this what it feels like to bowl? Thank <laughs> you.
Are you kidding me? Oh, my Lord. Pretty good effort there by Tommy Jones. Cut it in front. Incredible effort by Tommy yeah. Jones. So it's a sweep for Team Storm. They take all three events, the strike competition, the make that spare, and also the trick shot competition. Storm with a perfect score of 75 points. Brunswick second, motive in third. What do you think? Take one more look here at Sean Rash and the Flying Eagle. Pretty good stuff there. And Kimberly standing by with the winning team. Well, Storm was able to sweep that. Sean, can we talk about the Flying Eagle real quick? Did you think you were going to make that? I did. Uh, you know, I got a couple practice shots. I was pretty close in the second one. Uh, what a hell of a team effort, though. You know, Kyle got us off starting with the strikes. Darren made all them spares that we shoot almost every week because we're on the bottom of the list. And then somehow I made a bunch of trick shots. He's good at playing up 10. <laughs> <laughs> These two were like off their chairs as soon as you made that. But this competition was pretty cool because it really showcased so many different types of, you know, spares and strikes and trick shots. What would you say was the best part of today for your team? The team win, obviously. <laughs> That's the best part. It's always the best part. Obviously. And Kyle, what do you think when you started today? Did you actually think you guys were going to sweep everybody out here? I uh, didn't think we were going to sweep. I knew we had a good chance just because uh, Darren's a great spare shooter. Sean's been messing around in the bowling center doing tricks probably his whole life, and I know I can throw a few strikes. So it's uh, great to get the win for Team Storm and uh, for Bill Christman as well. All right. Well, congratulations, Team Storm, taking the win today. That's pretty well. And they honor the founder of Team Storm, of course, the great and the late great Bill Christman. Uh, a tremendous, tremendous man in the history of this sport. Tomorrow, the PBA Legacy Cup is our all-star weekend coverage continues at FS1, 1 Eastern. Legends and rising stars will conclude on Sunday at 1 Eastern on Fox. The PBA.